How to make chicken Milanese. Let's get into it. In one shallow dish, crack two eggs. It'll be easier if they're room temperature, but no pressure if they're not. Whisk until well combined. In a second shallow dish, add about one and a half to two cups of potato flakes. About three quarters to one cup of flour, as well as any other seasonings and spices you would like. I'm just going very simple. I like following the recipe as is, at least for the first time before I start adjusting it. I just added salt and pepper but I highly suggest you adding cayenne and paprika and all other spices that you would like. And when you're ready, you want to line them up with a spare plate. And you want to get everything all in one line so it doesn't make a mess. Add about one and a half to two pounds of chicken cutlets. You want to dip it in the egg mixture on both sides. and let the excess drip off. Then dip it into your flour mixture until it's well coated on both sides. Press down a little bit to adhere so it sticks to it. Let the excess drip off. Again, don't forget to get all of it. Let the excess drip off and then put it onto your spare plate. And then repeat with all remaining chicken. Once you've got all your chicken coated, you want to get a pan, put about a tablespoon or two of oil, and then swirl it around so it coats the whole pan. And you want to start slowly cooking all of your chicken on about medium to medium low until it's no longer pink for about seven to eight minutes on each side or like I said until it's no longer pink. Here's me flipping them over, nice and golden crispy on the that side. Again, don't forget to check that it's no longer pink on the inside. I just cut it in half. You can also use a thermometer. Should read about 165 to 170. And then keep cooking all your chicken until it's all cooked. When it's all fully cooked and no longer pink on the inside, just let it rest for a minute and then when you're ready serve with your choice of sides and enjoy.